be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because I'm coming back to back to bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be going over how to make hi-hat rolls with musical typing and the piano roll. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing I'm going to do is actually get a beat started. So we're going to start with a quick sampler track. And I'm, gonna, I'm really just going to come over here and grab like a basic melody. Um, let me go to hip hop right here. Let's find something here. Let's see. So I'm gonna throw this in here. We're gonna kind of basically start to build a beat. So to pull up musical typing, you press uh, Command K, and that basically is gonna pull up the keyboard here. I'm basically gonna be using um, all of these notes right here, all these things that coordinate with the actual keys on your keyboard. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna just go ahead and lay this down. Go back to this uh, here, turn this on. This is gonna be uh, your follow tempo. I'm gonna put that on. And let's uh, push R to record. Now, I could have already had this done, I guess, but I just decided to just kind of cook up something from scratch, um, kind of keep the process going live. So we're going to go ahead, like I said, software instrument under instrument. We're going to go to this quick sampler. And let's just kind of let's just start with a clap here. All right, cool. So like at this point in the beat making process, we will go ahead and lay down like a hi hat, and then this is going to be where we go ahead and talk about the hi hat rules. So what I'll do, we're going to go ahead and keep the process going. I already have hi hats and different instruments saved in within the quick sampler, so it's easy to pull it back up. And the save you just go right here, save as you know, drag and drop to the sampler. But musical typing. So like, it's gonna be kind of hard to play a hat roll with the musical typing. You're literally gonna have to still come in here and use the piano roll, um, which is this area here. You push the scissors first thing, but we can kind of get like a roll in there. So what I'm gonna do is kind of freestyle it. Just kind of play a pattern here. So like a hi-hat roll, just to be honest, it's just so comp like more of a complex thing. It's gonna be hard to do with a uh, with the musical typing. You're gonna have to use the piano roll, like I said before. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down though the simplistic pat uh, version of like a hi-hat roll and all that. So I basically played some, you know, a pattern here. These aren't quite rolls yet. Um, I quantize everything. Let's listen to it now. All 
All right, so to turn these into hot rolls, simple, just come where you were kind of playing it or freestyling a roll, and you'll want to zoom in, hold Option, use your mouse or your uh, trackpad, scroll left to right to zoom in here. And uh, you can even come over here and put the loop like right over that measure. And so what you could do is just highlight where you want the roll and take all of the uh, the notes down to a minute version and then hold down option and you can just drag over and then that creates a perfect hi-hat roll. And then you can also do it um, any other place in the in the beat. So like right here. Hold down option, scroll over. And then you can actually make this like more of a complex roll by coming over here. Um, this is your automation. These are where these dots are. And now what you can do is you can click here and this you can choose different things. We're gonna work with that note velocity. And I can maybe maybe have this like lead into this like come on slope, upward slope if I want to. So I can just click here and then scroll up like that. And now it took all of those uh, notes and made them on a upward slope. Probably the most simple way to do it, man. If you want to use both the musical typing and the piano roll, so like you just use the musical typing and just do a basic manual roll, and then you come in there and fine tune it in the actual piano roll. So that's pretty much what's happening here. And you can do a downward slope right here. And then this will be everything together. So anyway, y'all, that's going to be today's video. I uh, appreciate you watching. For those who are brand new and everything like that, make sure you're subscribed. Also, if you haven't had a chance to go to my website, make sure you do that. It's beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses, sound kits, mixing templates, and a whole lot of other things that you can download there. Um, what that's going to do is help speed up the process a lot of times. You know, with, with the courses, you're going to get information that I'm not always posting on YouTube. And the courses will be like organized into a curriculum. And then also with the sound packs and everything, these are royalty free, but they're kind of more of an exclusive royalty uh, pack. I'm not royalty pack, but exclusive uh, sound pack because, um, you know, these are not like sounds that you find on like Splice or some type of real super popular uh, sound library. You know, this is some stuff that a select group of producers have. So, you can be, become one of the producers that has a select group of sounds to make your beat stand out from you know everywhere else. But anyway, head over to beatmakingbasics.com. Check out what we got going on there. Invest in yourself. Appreciate you uh, watching the videos. Get to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.